The Lulzbot team is here with you today from Fargo, North Dakota. We'll be taking a look at the Mini 2 and doing a filament change, as well as showing you how to slice and begin printing from a part. I'll start that process now. From the main menu, I'll scroll down to Change Filament and select Preheat PLA. As this printer preheats, I'll tell you a little bit about our current model lineup. We currently make the Mini 2, Lulzbot Taz Workhorse, and the Lulzbot Taz Pro, all for different sections of the market. This Lulzbot Mini 2 is a great place to start with 3D printing. We've got uh, some PLA material here today that we're gonna be printing with in Lulzbot Green, which is awesome. And as it is heating up here, we'll just keep an eye on it. The on-screen prompts will help as we change this filament to know uh, when it's time to actually pull the tail of filament that comes with the printer out and to load the new filament. The filament has now been unloaded by the change filament section of our menu and we're able to remove it. I'll then take my new spool of filament and actually prepare it for loading. Rather than cutting it straight across, I like to cut it at an angle and then come back and do a back cut so that it feeds in nicely. I'm then going to take and compress the spring a little bit as I feed it in. This will help make this process much easier. I'll then set the tension by turning the screw counterclockwise until it's finger tight. This will allow it to grip the filament fully. I can then watch to see that the filament's being fed in. As you can see here, we've got filament starting to extrude, letting us know that this process worked. Today we're going to be printing from the computer. So we've got our USB tether here that we're going to hook up to our Lulzbot Cura Edition uh, software. In Lulzbot Cura Edition, one of the first steps will be going to settings and adding a printer. We'll select the Lulzbot Mini 2 with the SE toolhead. Review the settings and hit finish. When running the printer tethered, you can go over to monitor and connect our printer here. The printer will then connect to your computer. This will allow us to start the print via the USB connection. Going back to prepare, we can open up our file. Today we're going to be using the Octopus and prepare it on the print bed. We'll be using Polylite PLA with standard print settings and no supports. So as we prepare this file with the slice, uh, we can then go over to monitor and select start print. The printer is then going to uh, auto home on all four corners before it begins this print and then it will start right in on printing. Because this process takes some time, we've pulled one of our printers direct off the uh, production line today for you uh, that's just finished completing a print. So every Lulzbot printer that's sold is ready to go outside of the box. You can see here that it's been test printed and that we have a nice Rocktopus Octopus right here on the bed. Thank you for watching today and enjoy making everything.